Bill believes he is living the dream. If he wants to go on a trip, he just does it, even if it means taking out a small loan. The same way, he loves saying yes to a car upgrade opportunity, new furniture, and so on. He occasionally maxes out his credit card, but earns enough to pay back what he borrowed. Tom earns just as much as Bill, but sees things differently. He goes on fewer and mostly less than exotic trips, and generally lives beneath his means, choosing to instead set money aside and invest in anything from shares to real estate and precious metals. At its core, investing rather than consuming revolves around the idea of saying no to instant gratification because you believe you're better off building wealth with delayed gratification being the key to a sustainable future. Is Bill or Tom right? Well, it depends on what you mean by sustainable future. From the perspective of personal financial stability, Tom is most definitely right. Should Bill end up dealing with, let's say, a debilitating illness that renders him unable to work, he can't exactly live off savings because he doesn't have any. Tom, on the other hand, would perhaps have a bit of rental income, some dividends and so on in terms of cash flow, not to mention the value of the assets he accumulated and could sell if necessary. From the perspective of what society quote-unquote wants from you these days, we're dealing with a paradox of thrift situation, a concept covered in another video. Simply put, our current economic model would implode in the absence of consumerism, if you will. For our current economic system to survive, society wants you to consume and even go after debt fueled instant gratification. To put it differently, society as we know it would most likely experience a violent reset if everyone would start embracing delayed gratification. Some economists think this is a major threat, others believe it would be a good thing, but that is a topic for another video.